himself out from kind of the noise of the world so that he could more intentionally listen, kind of talk with God the Father, uh, but he also kind of contended with Satan. He struggled against uh, three particular temptations from the devil, and in Lent, the challenge is for us to acknowledge that we are also tempted, and then not only are we tempted, but we have even fallen. We've said yes to the temptations, and this is a time for us to repent and show God uh, and ourselves that we truly want to change. We want our lives to be different. We want God to be more a part of our lives. And that kind of experience is primarily in the heart, primarily kind of in the head. It's an interior experience. But in order for it to kind of sink in, to do, to do things is important. So uh, I'd encourage you over the kind of this week leading up to Ash Wednesday to think of, you don't have to do a ton of things, but just something that will remind you that your life is called to change. So, for instance, uh, you know, a cold shower is a good way to kind of wake up and realize that, shoot, uh, that hurts, <laughs> and uh, Christ is moving to the cross. I can kind of suffer with him. Another thing, though, is uh, kind of moving away from temptations. I was just looking up the other day uh, how much time an average uh, kind of preteen kind of spends on their phones. At least a teenager spends uh, seven hours on into uh, screen media. That's a ton of time. In order to do that, you almost need, it's like a full-time job. You're going to be losing on sleep, kind of losing on brain space, and those are kind of the two things to, that you need in order to start a good prayer life. To be awake and to have the brain space to listen. So I just encourage you to think of, you know, some penance, some food you can give up, but also kind of something you can pull away from. If you just walk around listening to music all the time, well, it can be really tough to move into silence. But that's when you start to hear the Word of God. Uh, finally, uh, as a school, we're trying to figure out kind of what as a penance we can do. And so if you have any ideas, any thoughts, feel free to share those with, you know, Mr. Lynch, myself, put them in the box, uh, because... Uh, it's important to kind of move as a group into Lent, to work on our relationship with God individually, but also as a community. So, uh, just uh, to, to close out, let's just pray a couple of glory beads, asking the Holy Spirit to inspire our hearts and minds uh, for Lent. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the